graduates, thank you for joining us today. My name is Adam Powers of Wave IT, and to my right, I have Ms. Laura Denny. And today, we will be showing you how to unbox your work from home kit and get everything hooked up. This here is your work from home kit. Let's get that open. the desktop computer, a headset, a keyboard, an ethernet cable, some instructions we'll be using, the mouse, and two power cables. So this is everything you'll have with your work from home kit. Now let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look so we can see how to get everything hooked up. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your instructions. And included is a labeling sheet about how to label your items and the labels. Here's the Ethernet cord. You're going to want to put a label on there that says Ethernet. Thank you, Laura. Let's go ahead and get everything connected here. So if we go to the first page of the instructions, uh, we will be doing the connecting the desktop uh, portion first. Here you have a D600 desktop mini. And as far as getting it connected, you want to look at the back side. That's where all the connections are going to go. We have the desktop power supply. You can just uh, take the Velcro strap off if it's connected there. Three prong to an AC outlet. And then this little barrel connector into the corner here. And it should just uh, fit very snugly right on in there. Uh, you also want to get your mouse and keyboard connected especially before you turn it on. Uh, if you look very closely, there's a little gray label right here indicating uh, mouse and keyboard ports, but to be honest, it can go into any one, it's okay. Uh, so we'll get the mouse in there, thank you. And keyboard right above it, right there. Uh, you also wanna get your ethernet cable connected, which goes right between the power cord and the USB cords with a little uh, clip portion facing downward. And then of course, you wanna make sure you get the other end connected to your home router. Here we have a TP-Link router. You may have a different type. Just be sure you have an available Ethernet port on the back. Uh, if you don't, see if there's a device you can disconnect. Otherwise, you may not be working from home. So we'll get this plugged in. This uh, blue port would typically go to your modem or other internet source. So any of the four open yellow ports is what you're looking for. So we got the peripheral connections here, but we do want to get the monitor connected. And we have a VGA cable included, which goes into this uh, VGA port on the back. You don't have to screw it down, but it definitely makes the connection a little bit more clear if you would. So that completes the setup of the desktop portion of things. We're gonna go ahead and get the monitor up and into play and get this connected to you. Thank you. It's gonna be a little cumbersome, so just bear with it. Uh, the monitors typically tilt, depending on which one you have, and you can see on the side here, we have the VGA port on top, uh, and then the power port down below. So just like with the desktop, you don't have to screw it in, but it helps keep the video connection stable. And then as far as power, just take uh, the one end here and plug it in directly there. And that's that. Alright, 
now let's plug in our headset. Take it out of its box. And the 3.5 millimeter plug is going to go into the front of your desktop computer. There likely will be two plugs, but we want to plug into the one that has a headphones and a microphone so that your microphone will work with the headset. So we plug it in right there and it is all set. All right, now that we have everything plugged into the desktop computer, this is how it's going to look. The VGA, one end is right here, and the other end is going to be going into your monitor. We've got both your keyboard and your mouse plugged into the back there. We've got the Ethernet cable. Reminder, the other one is going to go into your router. We've got the desktop power in the corner here, and that is going to plug the other end into an outlet. All right, so for those of you who will be bringing your desk phones home, we have included with the kit for you a power over ethernet injector. This will get power to your phone and uh, pass through the internet connection as well. It's a little bit complicated to set up, so let's go ahead and take it step by step on how to do this. Here we have your desk phone. We'll set that aside for now. And we will unbox the power over ethernet injector or PoE injector for short. There's a lovely little installation guide. You can certainly read through this at your leisure. It'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Uh, this is the device that you'll be working with. And the way that this works is it's got a power input. It's got ethernet on one end and then ethernet on the other side. And we'll go ahead and connect power first and then the cables from your home network to the device and then to the phone. So it comes with a power supply with a AC adapter and a little barrel connector. Just slides right on in there. It also comes with an ethernet cable. And for this cable, you want to plug it into the power and data out connection. And then the other end will go to the back of the phone. And if you look real closely, you got a picture of a computer. And then you have the Ethernet symbol with one computer, a couple lines, and a couple other computers. And that's the one you want to connect this cable into. Like so. Then, to get the internet connection working, you want to take your cable that you have going from your home router, from one of the yellow ports on the back, make sure it's nice and firm in there, and then the other end will go into the power over ethernet injector on the same side where you have the power supply connection, it's going to be LAN in. And once that snaps in, you'll have a pass-through connection. It's only going to work if it's plugged in and has power, though. And when it does have power, you should see some green power activity on the injector itself. We have the desktop computer connected to your keyboard, mouse, and monitor. We have your phone plugged into the power over ethernet injector going to your home router and we need to get the phone's internet and cabling connected to the desktop so that way you have a pass-through internet connection. And that's a pretty simple, straightforward process. Uh, what you want to do is take that ethernet cable that you have connected to the back of your computer, grab your phone, flip it over, and to the ethernet port right next to the uh, cable we use for the injector, the one that looks like a little, little tiny computer setup right there, we'll be plugging in this cable. And then that will give you a connection to the internet from your home network. And that completes all the cabling and wiring for your home from work kit.